Let's practice drawing hundreds of uh, monsters using ActionScript 3 code in Flash CS6. So we begin by drawing a monster, adding it to the movie clip. We'll make it into a movie clip and when you right click, go to properties, you make sure that you connect it uh, to your class file monster. We export it for ActionScript. So in the monster code here, uh, just for extra practice, I made this variable called the uh, age. So each monster has an age variable, and the monster has a constructor which basically accepts the the, the actual age. So we have a variable called a. Notice how within the actual uh, function we don't have to write var. So age equals a. So as the number is being passed into the constructor, we have the class variable, the property age. Uh, being initialized. Okay, so we have a monster class template. Let's look into the code here. So I'm going to click on frame 1, go to window actions or F9. So what we have here is a <clears throat> array of monsters. Variable monsters. There's an S here, so I want to make it into a array. It's plural. Equals new array. I did not specify how large it is. You can sometimes say you you want an array of size 5, you can stick a 5 in there. But right now, we have not actually uh, added any elements inside here. So we have a variable i is an integer. And so because I said this is a already a variable, I don't have to redeclare it here because this i and this i are the same. For i equals 1, i is less than or equal to 3. I plus plus. So the initial value is 1 and this for loop is going to keep looping as long as i is less than or equal to 3 i plus plus. So i will increase by 1 every time we loop. So what's happening inside this loop? We have a variable m, just a temporary variable of type monster equals new monster. So we're creating a new monster and I'm initializing it with the uh, monster's uh, uh, age and I just happen to make it uh, uh, i times 10 which would be 1 times 10 is 10 the second time we loop it would be i would be 2 so 2 times 10 would be 20 and then 30 etc so now that we have a monster with an initial age value we're gonna push it monsters dot push so push is a function that uh, is available for uh, arrays so we're pushing to the end of the array list, the last part. We're pushing M. So we're just going to slap on a monster to the end of your array. All right, we have uh, another loop here. We're still using the same I variable up here, so we don't have to redeclare it. So we, we start off at 0. As long as we're less than monsters out length and I++ plus plus monsters out length, the length of the array depends on how many times we push uh, elements into it. So every time I add um, a new monster to the to the array, the length increases by one. So I like this uh, I like this length property because no matter how large our array grows, we automatically loop through the entire contents of the array. So we have monsters i. So this is the array, the array particularly at this index square bracket this index. So index zero is always the first element dot x. So this here is the one particular monster. And remember that monster is a, is a child of movie clip, extends movie clip. So here movie clips has an x prop property. So the x position is equals to i times 100. So i is initially 0. So the x position initially is 0 times 100, which is 0. When i is 1, the x position is 100, 200, 300. We're slapping on slimes every 100 pixels. Trace monsters uh, i, so this is the one particular actual um, monster, movie clip, dot h. So this here we passed into the constructor, it was uh, 10, 20, 30. Add child monsters i, so this is the line of code that actually uh, draws it onto the screen. So we're going to add this particular monster so this is by the way the same as stage dot add child same thing so I'm gonna press control enter okay pow 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 B 
before you could even see it, we have all the slimes. I only did three different movie clips, but you could imagine doing a hundred. And we have the ages here, 10, 20, 30, pow. We initialized each of these monsters on the fly dynamically with code. Wonderful.